in solving uh, or deriving the design equation for a CSTR, uh, you may have noticed that we have no dimensions, no nothing related to position, nothing related to time. And as a result, these type of reactors are also called the zero dimensional reactors. All right, now we are going to introduce the time dimension into the expression. In this problem, part B, unsteady state. unsteady state reactor. We have dNA over dt term remaining. In this case, that due to some event, number of moles of A is changing within our system boundaries. Startups and shutdowns are very good examples of the unsteady state behavior. DNA over DT is equal to FA in minus FA out plus RA times V. Remember, our reactor was uniform and we took RA and V outside the integral. Now we are going to substitute again everything in its place. FA is equal to CA in times V0, FA out is CA out times V0, and RA is K times CA out times the reactor volume. Now, what is NA? NA is a number of moles of A within the reactor. NA is equal to the reaction volume times CA in the reactor. And CA in the reactor, so far, is represented by CA out. And as such, if we are going to take the total derivative of this, we're going to end up with two pieces of information. CA out times dV over dt plus V times dCA out over dt. Of course, there are two reasons that an unsteady state condition can happen in a reactor. One is that you may have a volume change. And the second situation is that you may have a concentration change with respect to time. So we are going to solve this problem for a constant volume reactor as a result this term disappear disappears so we have V D C out over D T to be equal to C A in minus C A out in the common parentheses of V zero minus K times C A out times V. We're going to rearrange 
to cancel V, make this 1 over tau. And then we are going to regroup this in terms of constants. and variables. We have an ordinary differential equation. This is supposed to be CA out. C A in over tau minus one over tau plus K times C A out. This is a first order ordinary differential equation. Which requires a boundary condition. And the boundary condition is, it has to come in terms of relating time to the concentration. So we have at time t is equal to zero C A out is equal to zero. There was nothing in this reactor. Solution and its relation to the whole problem will come in the next video.